Hello everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Warrior Edition with Zorodin, or Zorodon, or however you want to pronounce it, I just say Zorodin, because it's fast, it's fun, and fuck it. <laughs> Anyways, as always, just remember I am not a PG player because I don't want to be. <laughs> Anyways, so, last time we got a mission from that fat man over there. To go get a get a heart or a brain, something, something from a beast. Anyways, we're gonna go and do just that, as well as do our side mission. I believe there's a side one over here somewhere. Oh, also, I forgot for some reason to turn this on. If you go over here into your map, you can turn on these show exploration missions and they will turn on extra missions for you now these used to be like defaulted and you didn't have to do that but now you actually have to for some reason I don't know Sergeant Garrus turns out the rumors were true some of the sentries we lost down here aren't dead they lost their minds just like the acolytes doesn't mean we're gonna have any easier a time getting the research supplies back though the crates are secured with multi locks if we're going to open these things without frying the content, we need to get all the sentry's code cylinders back. I don't think negotiation is an option. The men aren't keen to take down their old comrades, but we'll do what we can. Once we have the code cylinders, we'll crack open the supply crates and get back. Take one out. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> I guess we're gonna do that too. And first off... Yes, I am on my PC. And we have a new mic, and things are about to go down. Yeah. Fear me. Granted, they're still clicking because I have one of those mechanical keyboards, a Razer one. So I'm gonna have to go buy these like little O circle things to put underneath the actual keys themselves to make them a little bit more quieter. It won't take away the sound completely, but it won't be as loud. So that should be taken care of within the next day or two. And there is one of these cylinders. I'm gonna go ahead and just poopity pop and poo these motherfuckers over here. Yeah, <laughs> take it. Take that! Yeah! Down you go. Hello. I'm gonna need you just to bow down before me, my friend. And skadoosh. Ah, yes, things are a lot better on the PC. Don't you agree? Ah, okay. Now there is one over here. You follow the map. Dun, dun, dun. And yes, the lightsaber color will change once we hit level 10 so we can apply a new crystal. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, while we're doing this, I am thinking about doing a Pokemon Let's Play um, of the new Solar Light Lunar Dark uh, fan made game. So, stay tuned for that, as it is probably coming within the next week or so. Here's the second cylinder. Now, on to the next. Hello guys, how are we? Yeah. Get wrecked. Clearing the camp. Let's see here, now we gotta go across the way, it looks like, to get to the next cylinder. Yes. Feel my wrath. <laughs> now, I guess, something a lot of YouTubers do is ask their viewers a question. A question of the day kind of thing so I guess my question of the day is who is your favorite Star Wars character and why um personally 
I'm a Qui-Gon Jinn fan. But, I mean, it's just because he's a badass. Who doesn't like Liam Neeson? But, no, uh, he... His ideals are what I would think a true Jedi would be. But anyway, so who's y'all's favorite Star Wars character? And there we hit level 8. We're gonna go in here. The Tomb of Marco Ragnos. Looks like we need to go in here. Oh, hello. What are we doing in here? Ah! Apparently, we needed larvae. Larvae, larva. However, you wish to pronounce that. Apparently, I cannot English today, so. Fuck me, right? <laughs> I guess I need to go back to grade school and relearn my English. This douchebag just stole. Nah, you're gonna fight it now. You need to fight it. Go on. I ain't helping you. Steal my thing. I remember back in the day when this thing would destroy you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, anyways, so. Sith Warrior is probably my favorite class, mostly because my first character was a Sith Warrior. There are a few classes I don't remember all the way through, so once we get to those, a lot of it is going to feel like it's new to me, because I won't remember it as well. But this one, I know this story like the back of my hand, and it is beautiful. Alright, come on, Andy boy. Get out of that hole. Oh, Lord, I mean, with those ugly ass teeth. Get out of here. What the hell? Hulk smash that bitch. There we go. Yeah, give me that brain. I'll take that money too. I don't know why you're carrying money, but I'm taking it. You got robbed. <laughs> you got mugged. Again, I do play on the uh, Starforge server, so if you're ever around, go ahead and say hello. Also, be sure to check out my guild if you look for a roleplay guild to join. It's called the Exodus Dominion. I promise I won't always ask you to join in every video, but once I remember, I probably will. I'll take that money. Thank you, whoever you are, for that one hit that you helped with there. It was very effective. What are you doing on top of that rock? Huh? Get off the rock. It's dangerous up there. Hey guys, th thank you. Thank you for guarding this. Oh. Oh, 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 And I believe that is the last cylinder. Maybe. Yes, it is. It just took a minute to register for some reason. Oh well. <laughs> and now we're going to go in here. Hello. Exiled Acolyte. Obviously a failure. You have money? Yeah, you have money. Taking it. Woo! All these failed Acolytes. Y'all got money? Taking all the money. 
Um, excuse me. For some reason, it's like impossible to hit her. She was invincible. Whee! And yes, I'm going to do that almost every time I fly because it's fun and because I can. Hello, sir. I'm gonna need you to chill out. Oh, look, there's our friend again. Alright, and do the face. Bum 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 bum. Oh, and did you guys uh, check out the new Star Wars game that's coming out in, I believe, November? That game looks badass. I'm probably gonna get it. And then, of course, there was the new trailer for the new movie. The Emperor's back, or so it seems. <laughs> Although, I think my favorite part about that trailer was seeing the Death Star all destroyed. Oh, that was pretty dope. Let's click on this giant tablet and meditate. <laughs> I don't even want to look behind me. Da -dun. Da -dun. Da -dun. Look at those eyes. Oh, there's nothing behind me. Fair enough. It says something's here. Oh, what? In the tarnation? Ah! Ah! Jesus Christ, you came out of nowhere, you fucking ninja assassin asshole! How dare you scare me like that! Yeah! How dare you! There we go. God bless America! <laughs> He's boopity, trying to boopity boppy to me. I'll take that, and I'll take your money too, you ass. Give me that. I'll take that. Yes. Hey, look. I forgot about that. And we're back on our way out of here. I don't know. I'm going to try to tone down on my language, I guess. I know it's not the best, but I will try. I don't want to make a habit of it. But sometimes it just slips. <laughs> like other things. Wink wink. <laughs> oh. And oh, look, you're alive again. Oh, you want some more? Sure. Next time I'll give you my number too. Alrighty. We are out of there. Hello. Apparently everyone is now inside that singular body. Fantastic. So now... Gonna run all the way back. The fuck? Assholes. Yeah, you're. Joe has these pills. Alright. God, he looks freaking beautiful. Look at him. We gotta turn in something here. Boop. I'll take that. Now I gotta take it to Sergeant Garrus. Alrighty. But first.
the question is, do I give this to Malora or to the fat man? Malora or the fat man? Malora. Ah, we're just gonna give it to the fat man because why not? I'm running out of patience. Have you finally acquired the mutant Tukata brain, or should I send someone else? Here's a brain, I asshole. I have what you asked for. Ha! <sighs> Wonderful. Let me see it. <laughs> it's it's in perfect condition. You won't have any complaints. Look at the mottling along the frontal lobe. Oh, I can't wait to analyze this. You've done me a great service, but now I must continue my research. If there's nothing else? Um... Um... Yes... Melora asked me to sabotage your experiment. Is that so? Melora, if you can't show my work the appreciation it deserves, there's no place for you as my apprentice. Wait, Master. It's a lie. I haven't betrayed you. I know the truth when I hear it, Melora. I'm releasing you from my service. Eventually. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Master, please. Stop. No. <laughs> my dear, the pain for you is only beginning. Take your reward and leave. Melora and I have much to discuss. Can I help? Perhaps I could be of assistance. I appreciate your kind offer, but I prefer to handle this myself. Farewell. Okay. Have fun. Doing your things. Have fun! <laughs> yeah, we just kind of screwed her over, but whatever. Dark side points for the win. Here comes the elevator through my body. <laughs> Slowly we rise to the top of the elevator. Also, we have mail. Star Wars The Old Republic, your 2019 Chicago celebration flare. Well, I guess I'll take all that. Why not? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see here. I will take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Might as well take that too. Also, should I go ahead and use one of my companions, or should I wait to get my first storyline companion? Go ahead and just let me know what you think on that. We're gonna put that away. And now we're gonna head back over to the other side. At your service, my lord. Trouble back to the academy. Yeah. Ah, Korriban. Such a beautiful rock. Full of nothing but failure. <laughs> I just noticed that two of the statues are missing their heads. <laughs> Alright. Now we're gonna go back inside. Holy crap! Don't you people have a bedtime? Oh, not you. Get out of here, Von Mortis. Get out of here. Why are these douche men? Get out of here, Mortis. That guy just has a bad rap. <laughs> if you've played Star Wars for as long as I have and you then you probably have heard his name and you probably know the extent of his misdeeds. <laughs> but 
that through this phase. Badoom. Ooh. Oh. Well, look who's here. Hello. Remember me? Of course. I never forget a face. Your name is Dolgis, right? Vemrin's boy. Very good. It's good to know the name of your killer. Notice anything interesting? No witnesses. No witnesses means no rules. No more shortcuts. No more special treatment. You're just going to be another dead failure on Korriban. Um. Excuse me? How about no, Dolgus? That's right. Kneel before me. No! Hold up, hold up. Look, I was wrong. What they're saying about you, totally true. So strong. I don't want to die. Hmm. I kind of want to be more honorable in this, but I mean, he did attack me, so I mean, it's only fair. He did earn his death. Ask for no mercy and expect none. Die like a sip. Yeah. I failed you, Vemrin. And there are no marks on his body. <laughs> and he disappeared. <laughs> he was a force ghost. Hello. We must speak quickly, Acolyte. There isn't much time. I may have made a slight miscalculation. The beast of Mark Aragnos was a great source of dark energy here on Korriban. When it was slain, there was a tremor in the force. Darth Barris felt that tremor and has become aware of you. He demands an audience. Oh? Finally. Good. I've been waiting for this for a long time. After meeting him, you may find yourself wishing you had more time to prepare. Barris is a serious man, but a master of deception. Everything he does and says is calculated. He will attempt to trip you up, test your nature, get to the heart of who you are. Always take him seriously. And I mean always. Sure thing. I can handle Darth Barris. Barris is usually the one doing the handling. <laughs> we might wink, not wink. speak again, Acolyte. You're the best chance of stopping Vemrin. If you fail... I doubt there will be another strong enough. Good luck. Meet Darth Barris in his chambers, and hurry. He won't take kindly to waiting. Well, all right then. Well, I'm gonna equip that, and I'm gonna equip that because they do, or they give better armor. Excellent. And we're only one level away before getting able to use a better color on our lightsaber. <laughs> Hello. Oh God. <laughs> so, yet another acolyte stands in the shadow of our academy. You must consider yourself privileged. Of course. Tell me, you who would be Sith, have you seen much of our civilization so far? Have you been awed by this world's power and glory? Um, no. All I've seen is dust and tombs. Not very impressive. Then you have not been blinded by your master's claims. Korriban was wrought by the true-blooded Sith millennia ago. Our ancestors, a crimson race of conquerors, raised the statues around us. Over the eons, however, our people mingled with slaves. Now the red markings of true Sith are rare, and the purity of this planet is in question. Meaning? Some elaboration is required. True purity and strength are carried in the blood. I worry that our blood is being diluted over generations. In the Emperor's name, I have come to learn whether the Academy's overseers are Sith or not. You will be my instrument. Oh, sure, why not? I would be more than proud to help. It is a glorious opportunity. 
I possess an ancient device, a holocron, that can read and record bloodlines. It will pulse with life near the overseers. We Allow say we have apps for things. Purpose. They have holocrons for things. <laughs> as it attunes to their blood purity. Then return here, and I will learn the truth. So in other words, I'm gonna go do all your work while you sit there and do nothing. Very well. Looks like one of them is over here. Hello! I am just going to use this. Thank you. Oh, and you have a mission for me. I'll pick you that mission up in a minute after I go do these. Because I would like to continue on with the story. Oh look, the stairs work this time. Looks like there's another one back here somewhere. Hello. Boom shake ulaka. Looks like the others are downstairs, but our main mission's up here, so we're gonna go do that first. Do 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 to the face we go. There, Tino. I believe that's the one. Really? All right. Hey, you. Careful, Tino. Yes, yeah, careful, Tino. For some action. You there? Are you the big shot they're all talking about? The one who's been personally summoned by Darth Barris himself. Yes. <laughs> News sure does travel fast. Please pardon my over-eager friend. It's just that we've heard so much about you. And we want to get in good with you. Tino, what my blunt partner here means is that if you need anything or anyone, say, dealt with, we'd like you to consider us. She's talking about Femrin. We'll kill him for you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I should have had Tino muzzled. <laughs> So, what do you say? We know Vemrin tried to have you killed. Would you like him eliminated? Mm, that would be tricky. Something like this would have to be handled delicately. Of course. We completely understand. There are rules. Acolytes are not to openly kill one another. Everyone knows of your rivalry. If you kill him, the Lords will presume your guilt. But if Vemrin croaks while you get an alibi, People might be suspicious, but they won't be able to pin it on you. See? Interesting. Consider me nodding. I wouldn't be upset if Vemrin turns up dead. Say no more. Go about your business. We'll handle this with utter discretion. What does this mean, Fine? It means Vemrin is a dead man. And we're going to have the most potent of allies. If you survive. Anyways... Most of you will not return from this endeavor. If you die, you will be forgotten. If you give up, you will be killed. No, out of my sight. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should. This is the end of the line for you, Clemrel. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Look here, Vimran. I see the upstart, but no sign of Dolgus. Clemrel, Vimran, you have been dismissed. Yes, Master. I underestimated you by sending Dolgus. It will not happen again. Okay. <laughs> Are you having trouble with Acolyte Vemrin, supplicant? He's playing with fire. If he insists on getting in my face like that, he's gonna have trouble with me. He has been hardened into a lethal machine. Vemrin has paid his dues. He's fought a deck stacked against him to get here. You, on the other hand, I'm beautiful. Get a closer look at you. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, as I suspected. Overseer yeah, Trimmel you. has Billy. done you and this academy a great disservice. Call you Darth Fatman. Your war blade came early. Prisoners flown in for your convenience. Even a beast here on Korriban instead of off-world in the wild. The pacing of the trials is deliberate. Only full immersion over time produces results. Your mind is soft, unhoned, undisciplined. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> I don't think so. I disagree, emphatically. The first month of trials should be dedicated to philosophy, conceptual tactics, understanding of the Sith Code. Recite the Sith Code for me, Acolyte, and explain its meaning in battle, war, and politics. Um, I don't need it. The only code I need to know is kill or be killed. Your ability is undeniable, but your readiness and your understanding of the Sith way is woefully lacking. I am your master now. Tremel was becoming lax before you ever arrived. His unwillingness to adapt to the evolving Sith paradigm has become a liability. These are the actions of a traitor. Traitors are executed. I grant you immunity from punishment. Kill Tremel and bring back his hand as proof. Hooray! My dream come true. It will be my extreme pleasure. Now, leave. I'm sure Tremel is still in his chambers. Don't return until you've killed him. Well, alrighty then. We have to go kill Trammel. But, I think we're gonna leave that for the next episode. So, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And remember to tell me who your favorite Star Wars character is while bare feet Bora decides to spawn in on me like a dick. Anyways, I will see you guys next time.